मैपिंग ऑफ डिजीज जीन्स डिजीज जीन मैपिंग इज वन ऑफ द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द जीनो टाइपिंग देर आर डिफरेंट मैथोडोलॉजीज डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स बाई विच डिजीज जीन्स दे आर आइडेंटिफाइड दे आर टू डिफरेंट मैथोडोलॉजीज दैट कैन बी पोजिशन इंडिपेंडेंट एंड पोजिशन डिपेंडेंट इन केस ऑफ पोजिशन इंडिपेंडेंट मैथड यूजली नो इंफॉर्मेशन is about the location of the disease gene starting with the phenotype determining that which protein is involved and getting ultimately for the identification of the gene based on the information of the proteins while on the other hand in case of position dependent method by which we identify the disease uh, disease genes in this method starting with the approximate location of the genes and ultimately finding the gene itself once the gene is identified then translating the product of gene into the proteins and studying the function of that protein in case of position independent method mostly and most of the genes they have been isolated with the help of protein products such genes usually produce large amount of proteins and they also pr- uh, produce well studied proteins so with the help of those proteins disease genes they are identified there are two common methods in case of position independent identification of the genes they are called as gene specific oligonucleotides mean with the help of gene specific oligonucleotides genes are identified and the second method is antibody method so with the help of antibody antibody method we usually move towards the identification of the disease genes while in case of position dependent method usually a recombination mapping or somatic cell mapping is used for the identification of the genes and the interest in this case is that as possible as tight junctions will be identified between the phenotype and the gene of interest to whom we have to identify in case of position dependent method chromosomes usually they are inherited in the form of intact units so it is reason that that the alleles and the phenotype they co-segregate with each other so their co-segregation is identified with the help of markers and with the help of recombinations different approaches are used for the identification of the disease genes the approaches can be position independent or position dependent in case of position dependent there are different methods which are usually called as linkage analysis or parametric linkage analysis they are used when we are identifying the gene by using position dependent method